So we're here at the great serpent temple of Santiago de Hoe Oje. This is a beautiful site, recently been excavated just a few years ago. You can see these huge sandstone blocks and the Chicana corner here with the great serpent on top. This is absolutely beautiful and amazing. So this is like an anaconda apparently. This is supposedly 2000 years old and yet it's only just been discovered. And this is like the front facing the lake of a great platform pyramid type structure. And you can see the stones go all the way along the edge there. So you've got this great serpent emerging from a solid piece of perfectly cut red sandstone. More likely of the magnetic variety. And on the corner here, you have like steps, or like a Chicana cross leading up to it. And you can see where it's turned black. You can see even see the eyes carved on it as well. Almost like the sort of sunglasses eyes that we often find around Tiwanaku and other cultures, although this is supposed to be older than Tiwanaku because it's at least 2,000 years old. So officially it could be the Chirapa culture or it could be very early Tiwanaku outpost. And you can see stones going all the way up the side there of this platform pyramid with great blocks perfectly cut and then going way up that side as well and over there apparently there are ruins that can be seen like a great colossal megalithic wall directly under the lake so we're going to fly the drone or take a boat see what we can see and they think there's a gate that connects with three different tunnels. One that goes right to the island, this is the entrance and the exit is on the island right across. Then they're talking about a different tunnel that goes right south where Tiwanaku is. And then we have another gate which goes, which is a lot more uh, impressive. According to them it goes all the way to Cusco. And they were very, very assured about this and they're talking about snakes as well. They're thinking that Eight snakes come out from this specific tunnel every night, and they all snakes from different corners, they face the same direction south. Again, where Tiwanaku is. And it's interesting that these people are sharing this kind of information without, for us, asking it. So they are very conservative, they try to keep things low profile, so it's a good thing that they were able to share that with us. That's amazing. So this potentially is like, uh, almost like the Akapana pyramid at Tiwanaku. Yes. Because it's got this, if it's got eight corners, right. then it must be it's got extra because I saw from above it looks like it's got chinkana corners going around the, the edge but clearly more excavation needs to be done here right and we saw those ruins over there we saw a lot of basalt and we saw andesite and the clean cuts are very very similar to Tiwanaku so yeah. it's quite so, impressive so we have andesite magnetic red sandstone yes and what else basalt basalt okay. definitely there's some basalt so, rocks there so this could sun. be this could be directly connected with Tiwanaku yes could be an outpost but even Seems like it. Um, but they say it's like 2,000 years old, don't they? Right. And um, you can see that those pieces were there a long time. You haven't, we haven't seen that nobody moved there. But they, you have to understand that the locals are very respectful. If they found the pieces like that, in, in most cases, they just leave it like that. Where okay. the Spaniards are the ones that they start moving the pieces. A 
originally they thought before they uncovered this properly they thought it was a cow because it was it was half buried and so they didn't even realize this was a full like megalithic platform pyramid site which it is it's a pyramid site? yeah you can see like the whole length of it going both ways all the way back to the road okay. and so they realized that it's not clearly not a cow they uncovered it and realized it's a representation of an anaconda snake, anaconda snake. yeah that's one version of, of events right. and um but uh, and the anaconda and the snake obviously is one of the richest symbols in the ancient world. Well, the snake represents the protector of the goods of Mother Earth or Pachamama, part of the three layers. Above ground, Alca Pacha, where the condor is, Alca Pacha, where the puma is, represents the human being, and Manca Pacha, below ground, it's the snake. So the snake protects the goods of Mother Earth or Pachamama. So here we have a very interesting looking stone on the eastern wall I believe very large and there's more apparently scattered all over this place kind of reminds me of Konko Wankani there's the main temple over there but even along here there's megalithic blocks inside those bushes and here you can see some more just around the edge. Very interesting, very large site. We'll estimate the size of it in the aerial photography. And this is the one of the northern corners here. Very rough hewn stones, very fertile area apparently. Absolutely amazing. What a site Santiago de Oje is. And there you can see the northern edge of the whole complex. There's a lot of lichen on it, so it's a very, very old site. They say 2,000 years, but it could be much, much older. Very interesting site, very ancient, hugely megalithic. Just next to the bus here, which we're now leaving, is almost like the entrance stone to the whole site. Absolutely massive. beautiful carvings on it as well. Look at that. 